Hello, my name is Simeon Neil Asher, and the trigger point of the week this week is the teres minor muscle. Oh ha! So let's have a look in the software and find teres minor. Um, yeah, a little bit, sometimes a bit confusing the nomenclature, the teres minor and the teres major. Um, the teres minor, let's start with the anatomy. Um, is it sort of takes its origin from the sort of lower two thirds of the scapula. It really kind of blends with infraspinatus uh, in in situ in vivo. Uh, we can see that the fibers really are very much connected, and it sort of does uh, sort of a co-active with the infraspinatus as well. So it's an external rotator of the humerus. Inserts into the lower tubercle of the greater. Um, so the greater part of the, the tubercle of the humerus uh, and is part of the rotator cuff. Um, effectively, as we've discussed before, the rotator cuff is there to sort of center the ball and socket joint to bring the shoulder back and down. The cuff itself stronger than industrial steel, um, multi-layered, five-layered structure interwoven with bursa, interwoven with, uh, with all different structures there. So teres minor. Now in terms of pain patterns. You can see it's quite an extensive pain pattern, mostly sort of located around the area of the muscle, but also uh, a little bit into the tricep as well. Now, the other part of the insertion of the, uh, of the uh, teres minor is it has some slips that insert into the back of the capsule itself. And it's one of those muscles that we often see uh, trigger points in with uh, adhesive capsulitis. And as some of you may know, that's my kind of passion uh, found a kind of effective trigger point method for treating adhesive capsulitis. So it's always a muscle that I look for for trigger points in adhesive capsulitis. The other thing that's worth saying is that the tricep, as it comes towards its, uh, as it comes towards the, the scapula, um, the long head goes in between the uh, the teres major and the teres minor. <coughs> so that's another thing that we can see uh, uh, hugely influential on the sort of uh, the kinematics of, of the shoulder and of the teres minor muscle. Overhead activities, racket sports, uh, prolonged positions overhead, also road traffic accidents, people that end up gripping the steering wheel. It's often one of the muscles that we get trigger points in. An important muscle, small, but packs a punch. And, and actually um, it's in incredibly important in an adhesive capsulitis to look for trigger points in that, in the teres minor muscle. In, Importantly, also teres major, we tend to find trigger points in rotator cuff problems, teres minor in adhesive capsulitis. So that's the trigger point of the week this week, teres minor muscle. Hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to sharing more with you soon. Thanks for watching.